Okay, so uh, in this case, uh, we're going to solve the cloud balancing problem with Optop on our workbench. So we have two classes, a computer class and a process class, and we'll have to assign those processes to those computers, right? So uh, for all these computers, which are our hosting machines, um, the, all of each of them has a specific cost, and each of them has also some uh, hardware requirements, such as, for example, the memory, right? And then for our processes, which we see here, our processes uh, are assigned to a specific computer, and that's actually a planning variable. So if we actually show that here, we can see that this is a planning variable. So the computer changes during planning. The other fields, like this one, for example, don't. Right? And then besides that, we also have the uh, memory field and the others, of course, the other re ha uh, hardware requirements uh, for this process. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the computer field again. So uh, the computer again, so the computer has a cost and one of the guided rules that we have uh, is to make sure that when we have a specific computer and there exists at least one process assigned to that computer, so where the computer is equal to the computer which we have here, then we're going to reduce the score with the cost of that computer. And we'll actually clean this up for the, in the future version that you don't have to write Java code here anymore. And um, then we have a solver configuration. This is a pretty basic one where we say, okay, we're going to automatically stop after three seconds, right? Okay, so um, I have this already uh, deployed to an execution server. I have this running the solver already. And uh, right here, you can see we're going to send in a problem. So we're going to send in uh, a, li a list of computers and we're going to send in three computers as you can see right and this computer has four uh, gigabytes of memory this one eight and this one 16 and they all have a different price tag and of course the more memory they have the, the more expensive they become and we have now two processes uh, uh, which we're going to also um, ask to which we're going to ask to assign and the first process has one gigabyte of memory the second one has seven gigabytes of memory, right? Okay, let's send this in. Okay, here we go. And now let's get the best solution. And for the record, you don't have to wait until those three seconds are over. You can actually get that best solution faster. Uh, you can get it the best solution up to this second, right? If you're, for example, solving for 30 seconds. Okay, so what do we see in here? We again see our three computers, right? Uh, we see still their cost, it's all the same. And we see our, tr our two processes, the one with one and the one with seven required memory. And we can see that both of the processes are all are both assigned now by Optoplanner and are both assigned to computer two, which is this one. This is computer two, right? Uh, why is that computer two? Uh, because this is an expat, uh, an expat reference, right? So that's why that's computer two and because they start from one expat references. Now, what you can also see is that the cost of that computer is 3000. So our soft score is actually minus 3000. You can see that those two things match up, right? Uh, we don't have to pay 2000 or 4000 because we're not using those two computers. We're only using that second computer. So that actually, that's nice, right? Okay. So here's our solution, and uh, let's suppose now that um, this particular process over here, which is 7, which is now assigned to the second computer, cannot actually run on that computer because it's uh, a Windows operating system and that process requires, uh, let's say, Linux, right? So um, let's go back to the workbench, so back to the computer field. And let's say, let's add that information. We can say that certain field, that there are different operating systems, right? So operating system, uh, let's add a field for that. So from then on, we'll be able to give that to our uh, computers, right? So now we have an operating system field. And for the process, the same thing, add a field. Uh, let's call it the required operating system, right? And let's also make that a string for now. Um, it's for easiness sake that I make it a string, of course, right? Okay, great. 
Um, now let's add an extra guided rule because okay, now we have that information here and we have that information there, right? And of course we have to save both of these. Let me just do that. Uh, okay. And now let's add an extra guided rule where we say, here we go, where we say uh, operating operating system check. Right, okay. And so here we say when uh, we have a computer, okay, and there is a computer, and let's bind that to C, right, when you have a computer C. And then we have a process, right, and that process has a computer which is equal to uh, C, right, so when that, com that is the process that's actually running on that computer. Right, uh, then we might actually have a problem, right? Because the uh, because of the operating system, right? So let's say then uh, let's let's add a restriction there uh, when the required operating system is uh, is not null, All right? Um, and uh, we'll again do this field when and the required operating system is not equal to it's not equal to the computer's operating system so uh, let me just check here literal value from the formal expression editor choose yes from C the operating system right so here we go. Just to open it a little bit more, right? Uh, uh, operating system. Okay. Uh, then and then we again have to uh, reduce the score. So let me just check over here what's that at. So we'll just reduce the score uh, of the hard constraint, right? And we'll just do minus one, right? I will save this. Okay, great. Let's see if we can validate this. So let's validate this. Great, successfully validated. Perfect. Now let's deploy this. So we're going to let's deploy this as version 1.2, right? Let's deploy this as version 1.2. Save this for a second. And let's deploy this. Here we go. Great. Now let's get back to our REST client, right? So uh, one of the things we can do is we can dispose the current uh, key container. So uh, let's do that. Let's kill the key container, right? It's version 1.1 that was deployed. So let's kill that one. Okay. And now let's create a new key container uh, with the same ID, but let's give it version 1.2 here, right? Okay. So now we have those new uh, rules actually deployed with those new fields, right? So uh, we can again create a solver. Here we go. We've created a solver. He's ready. And now let's try to solve this case again, right? So we have these fields again, but now we can add something. We can say, for example, say that uh, this is operating system is, for example, Linux, right? Operating system. And this one will make that Windows, right? And this one will make that uh, Linux also, right? Um, okay. And now we can do a required operating system. So for this one, let's add a re required operating system in there, uh, which is Linux. All right. And let's send that in. Send that in. Here we go. It's actually OK. So I did not write any typo mistakes. And let's ask for the best solution. Here we go. And now what we see is that both of the machines are actually assigned to three computer tree, right? Not no longer computer two. So they're now assigned to that Linux machine. Why? 
because the, this, comp, this particular machine over here requires Linux. And so this uh, cannot, and this needs seven, CP, uh, seven memory, so it cannot run on that first computer because it only has four memory. It cannot run on that second computer because that's Windows and it needs Linux. So it can only run on the third computer, which has 16, 16 gigabytes in Linux. And then, of course, the first thing, which only uses one, mega, one uh, gigabyte of memory, it can run on the third computer too. Okay, so you've seen we've changed the rules uh, without any problem.